What's up guys, I'm Josh with MobileTechVideos.com and today we're going to be showing you how we debrick, hard debrick, the i9000 slash T959 Vibrant. This is a customer phone, this is a promotion, not a how-to. It's simply a promotion to show you guys what's involved and how we do this. So this is for the T959 Vibrant as well as the i9000 based Galaxy S phone, which is the European model, and this particular one is a Vibrant, but it's the same process on both. This is for hard bricked bootloader bashed phones that don't respond with a typical jig, as this one does not. Obviously, it is fully bricked, and uh, let's go ahead and get involved. Check it out. Let's go ahead and break it apart. Step number two. All right, so here we have the actual main board. This phone's actually been debricked once by me. It was also rebricked by the customer. I won't say any names. Let's go ahead and remove the capped on tape that I install after I debrick. So that way there's no interference at all. And I'll reapply a brand new piece of Captain tape. Captain tape, whatever you want to call it. Alright, real quick, let's compare the difference in the Captivate board versus the Vibrant board. And I'll show you guys why this is so hard on the Captivate. Alright, here we have a i9000 slash T959 Vibrant board compared to the Captivate board on the right. They're nothing alike. This is why the front facing camera mod doesn't work because even though they're the same basic hardware, they're actually completely different boards. As I mentioned, the Captivate is much harder to work on. This is no cakewalk either, so don't just think that you can do this. This is not easy. And that's why we offer it as a service because A, it takes hundreds of dollars of equipment to do it, and B, it takes quite a bit of skill in soldering for micro soldering. These points are about probably four, I mean, uh, sorry, 0.4 millimeters apart in space, maybe 0.3, whereas these on the Captivate are even smaller. It's the brass points that you'll see next to my thumbnail there. You can't even probably see the space between them even at close up like that. That's because they're 0.2 millimeters apart and they're almost impossible to solder. So the skill required is unbelievable for that. Um, so anyways, there's a look at both boards, the differences between the two, and um, there's a couple other little things I'll remove on this board, such as the microphone, uh, sorry, the speaker, and uh, we'll get ready to resurrect this board and bring it back to life and do what we do. So be sure to send us your phones if you have hard bricks. We would be more than happy to fix them at a fantastic price. Link in the description below for that. Check us out, mobiletakevideos.com. So that's enough talking. Let me go ahead and get some soldering done and we'll debrick, put it back together, and I'll show you guys the beauty of the service that we offer. Okay, guys, this is where the video gets sloppy and I'll show you why. Look at this craziness that we have going on here. This is the cleanest way you can really do it. It doesn't get much cleaner than this. Um, these points have been directly soldered and there goes the focus. Each point is directly soldered right now. They're not touching at all. They're copper wires. I've got a power source coming in from the machine. Everything going through the roof box. There's my iron. Now with some select soldering, I can go to my software and connect and get the ID and seize the phone right there. I have it set up with an i9000 because the resurrection files for T959 through RIF currently don't write the correct bootloaders. So let's go ahead and fix this phone. Everything looks good so far. Flashing the dead body. We got a progress bar going across. Let's look for a hundred. Boom. Resurrection complete. I'm ready to desolder, put the phone back together. Now this isn't something that your mom or your grandma can pull off. So there's really large learning curve involved and hopefully you guys see the difficulty involved and don't laugh too much at my table right now because there's a lot going on so mobiletechvideos.com let us debrick your phone let's continue 
All right, here's our board. Go ahead and overlay the new layer of capped on tape to fully cover up what we have exposed. Obviously those solder points aren't visible until you expose them, so we use a detailed uh, tool to, to actually wipe the board free of the material in that corner, the green material that normally is printed on these boards to give us the exposure we need to that. So then we'll cover this up with a piece of electronic based capped on tape like that and we're ready to reinstall. Alright, let's do this. Let's see what we have. Battery. Battery cover. Snap, snap, snap. Jig. Ta-da. Download mode. Boom. So there it is. That's debricking the i9000 slash T-Mobile Vibrant, which is also a T959 with JTAG. Let us do this for you. It's a very complex procedure that we have lots of experience in and there's only a few people in the world that will actually do it for you and I think we're probably one of the only US retailers that will actually do this for you. So let us fix your hard bricked vibrant or soft bricked vibrant. Check out the links in the description below. Be sure to subscribe to us here on YouTube. Bookmark our website, mobiletechvideos.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or check me out on the XDA Developers Forum as Connection2005 and learn more about this amazing service. So let us fix your phone. Thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.